part one of how I made low poly Carmelita Fox. We want to start with our turnaround drawing. And the 3D model you're seeing on the left here was created by a John Burton Darrow III. I used his model as reference as I was sketching. And I also used another model by JC Thornton as reference. I also referenced a lot of the official concept art for the game. I actually have a lot of images that are cosplay references. I cannot tell you how valuable that is to see where the stitching is located, kind of articles of clothing they most closely resemble in the real world. It's like the clothing equivalent of looking at anatomy, coloring our turnaround. So right off the bat here, I'm blocking this in with a very cool tone. Then I'm just cutting away at my base color so that's only present on all the little different accessories and parts of my character. Then I'm color picking from this official Carmelita Fox art. Think of this as a three-tiered process. First, start out with those base colors. Then after you're done, shadows and highlights. In order to sell something as being metallic, I think the easiest way to do that is to just have a huge range of contrast in your face. 3D modeling. I'm spawning in a basic human meta rig. Then I'm importing in my turnaround drawing. From there, I'm cutting up my turnaround. My first attempt at recreating the hair here in 3D did not go well. I just matched the silhouette of my front view. The thing that ultimately saved me though was looking at reference. I cannot overemphasize how helpful it is looking at 3D reference when you're making 3D models in order to figure out how these things are actually constructed. Texturing and UVs. I need to give a huge shout out to Dr. Lot who recommended an auto reloader plugin as well as saving my textures as PSDs rather than PNGs. And oh my gosh, did this save me so much time and really speed up my iteration process. Once again, starting by chopping up different pieces of my turnaround and drawing on top of them in order to create a UV map. Once again, I'm mostly using Project View here and I have my final turnaround drawing at the bottom right of Blender here in order that I can reference it. Eye modeling. Inspired by the Hyperdimension Neptunia models I've made so many animations with in the past, I ended up making her face texture transparent. And from the interior of that model, I modeled the inside of a sphere to give the impression of some cast shadows. From that, I then actually modeled her pupils. It looks like it's a much more detailed model than it actually is. Rigging. I'm using that basic human meta rig I spawned in and lining it up with all the different features and bones on my model. Then I had to do the extraordinarily painstaking task of making bones for all of her accessories and all of her hair. Face rig. So here I'm going into Photoshop and making all the different facial expressions that I want on Carmelita here on her face texture. Rigging her eyes was surprisingly easy that all I needed to do there was make two bones, line them up and set up the bone roll to be correct. Final renders. Without further ado, let's see what the final animation and model ended up looking like. Mm -hmm. 